All right, my friends, we're going to take a quick look at something called parent functions and transformations. The reason that people would want to learn something like this is that you can get a kind of complex looking expression like this, but if you know how some basic functions, um, what their graphs look like, like simple things like, like y equals x squared, x cubed, uh, 1 over x, if you know what those so-called parent functions look like, then you can just kind of shift them around a little bit and transform them a little bit to get what a graph of a more complex looking function would look like. Um, and so if you look at this expression, kind of starting from sort of inside out, this notice this variable or this expression with x is getting squared. So what's called the parent function is just x squared. And you know that that's just that's just the most basic parabola. So here is a parabola of uh, like y equals x squared. So here I'm graphing x squared. Now the next thing that happens here to add a little layer of complexity is before we square it, we're actually subtracting uh, two. And so what that's gonna do is take this exact same graph and just shift it two units over to the right. Um, so let's shift over two units to the right. And what we're gonna do is draw this exact shape but shift it over here by two units, right? So this dotted line thing is gonna be the graph of x minus two squared, right? So that's the first little change that we've made. The next thing that happens is we have this factor of three that's put in front. And to see the effect of that would have, right, whatever the output of x minus two squared is, that is getting multiplied by three. So for example, this value being certain distance off, the, um, off of the axis is going to get increased by a factor of three. And so, so what that's going to do is fold this in, because you can see this point, instead of being this high, it's going to be like three times higher, it's going to be there. And so what we're going to do is just, just make this thing a heck of a lot steeper. Um, and so what I'm graphing now is that same parabola, but we've, we've um, multiplied everything by three, which makes it much steeper. So this is actually three times x minus two squared. So you can see that we're almost there. The very last thing that happens is we take whatever the output of this function is, three x minus two quantity squared, and then um, we subtract pi. So, so everything um, in this red curve is just gonna have pi subtracted from it. So we just need to shift it downward. And so finally, to wrap this up, if we, Instead of this um, vertex here being at, at uh, um, right here at y equals zero, um, we're going to shift it down to minus pi. And so we're just going to bring this guy down here. Um, but we want the same exact shape. So I'll make it dotted lines again. Um, so we'll go dotted lines. But we want the exact same shape as the function that we've drawn up above. And so then finally, in all its glory, here is our 3x um, x minus 2 squared minus pi. So this dotted graph here, um, instead what I think I'll do is I'll just bold it in to make it a lot more, um, a lot clearer. That is our final graph. And so you notice we've had, what, three different things that we had to keep track of. We had a horizontal shift, we had a rescaling by putting this three in the front, and then we took the entire function and dropped it down by um, pi. 